Mail. It's a new era for the Pan-African Parliament as it seeks to redeem itself after a period that has been characterized by sheer pandemonium and a dysfunctional house. Finally, it has a new president, Chief Fortune, Charumbira, who has a monumental task to unify a divided house. Indeed, we have an enormous task. After being absent from business for more than one year, because of the acrimonies, which are not a secret, there was uh, quite um, big differences. I believe those have now been resolved in terms of getting into an election. But we still have a big responsibility in terms of dealing with a parliament or MPs that have been divided, deeply divided. The Southern African bloc's primary wish has been fulfilled since they wanted the top post to rotate across the five regions of the continent. MPs from the bloc say they are vindicated. We have delivered what we have committed to do and we did that peacefully because we followed the implementation of rotation as a principle. They can withhold it. I mean, we are not going to be told by the people who are giving us money how to think, how to act. Um, if they want to withdraw their money, they can withdraw it. And secondly, this is not Zimbabwe. This is uh, Africa. Uh, we're dealing with continental politics. And when you deal with continental politics, you look beyond uh, the uh, country's politics. Charumbira, amongst all of us here, is the most well-experienced person from our region. He has been with the institution. He knows the in and outs. He knows the weaknesses of the institution. He knows which areas need to be fixed. And uh, uh, we cannot, on the basis of party politics, then overlook the necessary capacity which will take this institution forward. We need to unite this region, the region of Africa or the continent of Africa. And we have done a lot of work, a lot of diplomacy, a lot of horse trading, a lot of negotiations, bringing states that were not talking to one another to back us, especially the Northern Caucasus. We owe a great debt of gratitude to Egypt, to Algeria, to Mauritania. We had to hop capital to capital to consolidate our position. And we have done it for Africa, to unite Africa, to make sure that we accelerate the socio-economic needs of the African people. Meanwhile, Milan presidential candidate, Yara Mia Chihana, who was not endorsed by the SADC bloc, has not conceded defeat and simply said the process was not above board. But the Pan African Parliament says the ugly chapter is closed and it wants to focus on representing the interests of millions of Africans. Kailiche Kumalo, SABC News, Johannesburg.